Everyone, welcome to Update Tuesday for December 2009. I'm Jerry Bryant. I'm Adrian Stone. And here we are with the overview of the bulletins we released this month. We have six bulletins addressing 12 vulnerabilities, five affecting Windows, one affecting Project, and one affecting Office uh, for Win and Windows uh, combined, actually. Correct. Uh, so looking at our risk and impact uh, slide, uh, this month we have MSO 9072. This is like the only bulletin that has a uh, both a critical rating and an exploitability index rating of one. And so uh, basically an EI of one means that we expect there to be uh, exploit code in the wild within the first 30 days. But in this particular case, there already is exploit code yep. in the wild on that one. Um, this does affect all versions of Internet Explorer and all versions of uh, currently supported versions of Windows. So Adrian, <clears throat> the MSRC is, is tracking one of those vulnerabilities really closely right now. What well, can you tell us about that? That's right, Jerry. We, we absolutely are. Uh, we actually released Security Advisory 977981 on November 25th. Uh, when, the, when the vulnerability uh, referencing CVE number 2009-3672 was made public through irresponsible disclosure. So with that, essentially the security researcher decided to publicly disclose the information prior to providing it uh, to us here at Microsoft. To be clear, this is one of the five vulnerabilities addressed in the bulletin. The other four were never public. So right. I, I, I want to point that out that we're addressing in total five vulnerabilities. Um, with that in mind, if you're running uh, IE8 on any version of Windows or IE5.01 on Windows 2000, you're not affected by this vulnerability. So uh, please make sure to, to check what versions of IE you're actually running. Uh, if you're not running one of those uh, two versions, either IE8 or IE5.01, all other, all if you're running any of those other ones, you need to install this update as soon as possible. Right. So then looking at our uh, deployment priority slide, our guidance is for customers to rank MS09072 at the top of their uh, deployment list. So uh, as Adrian said, we want to get that out uh, as quickly as possible. And then the Active Directory Federated Services update along with updates for uh, Internet Authentication Service, WordPad, and Project. These are all uh, a two on our deployment priority slide because of either they're uh, important or they have uh, an exploitability index rating of two. And, you know, so that's why some of those are lower. Yep. I mean, uh, at the end of the day, Jerry, you got to identify which ones we're prioritizing. And the others are of lower, uh, lower rating because risk of exploit is reduced uh, <coughs> as reflected by our lower exploitability index scores for those. So essentially this means that it's really difficult for attackers to be able to build a reliable exploit, uh, which is the inverse for the one that we've rated as one, where we know reliable exploit code is actually out there today. Right. So next we want to talk about a security advisory that went out today. This is 954157, and this is an update that, uh, basically there's an update in here that provides security mitigations or defense in depth type mitigations for the NDO codec uh, on Windows 2000, Windows XP, and Windows Server 2003. And this basically brings those uh, platforms in, in line with uh, what we have in Vista and Windows 7 today. Yep. Um, so the update, uh, blocks the codec from being used in IE or uh, Windows Media Player, uh, unless you're like in the uh, local intranet zone or something like that. So basically, the reason why this isn't going out through automatic updates is because uh, <clears throat> there's a lot of games and things like that out there that, that actually use this codec. And uh, so this particular mitigation uh, keeps it from being able to instantiate in IE from the uh, internet zone. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, uh, so it makes it uh, still uh, able to be used on the local desktop. That's right, Jerry. And uh, additionally, there was another uh, security advisory that I wanted to talk about. That's 973811 uh, and 974926. Uh, 973811 is actually an update to a previously released advisory, whereas uh, 974926 is actually a new advisory. The advisories are both part of the strategy Microsoft applied in order to protect against credential relaying. So uh, a couple of months back, uh, we did release 973811. Uh, and what we really are, are talking about here is the ability for credentials uh, uh, to, to be managed in, in proper fashion. So the new advisory, 974926, provides a comprehensive view of the entire strategy and actions to be taken to date. So essentially what we've done is really kind of focused everything down to the second advisory. So we have a, a comprehensive view of the issue. To better understand the strategy and the actions taken, please review the details of the newest advisory, which again is 974926. We want to talk about is we uh, also re-released a bulletin today. This is MS08037, and basically the uh, this is an update uh, for Windows 2000 users. 
Uh, we basically updated the uh, the package for Windows 2000 users. So if you've previously installed this, you will need to install it again. Uh, and basically the reason why we updated this is because there's basically two code paths for DNS transactions in Windows 2000s, unlike other platforms. And the initial update actually only provided the, uh, the update for one of those code paths. So this new package is actually providing an update for both code paths. So uh, we actually encourage Windows 2000 users to get this thing uh, installed right away. But this is just an important class bulletin, and it's a spoofing vulnerability. Correct. Yeah, and Jerry, one thing that I actually did want to touch on, which uh, on the earlier advisory, 973811 and 974926, with that advisory, there is no active attack taking place. There is no eminent <coughs> risk to customers. Right. As much as it, it's uh, a suite and functionality or capability for functionalities to be leveraged to better manage uh, credentials. And, and, those are, and that information is contained in both of those advisories. But I wanted to be very clear about the term of immediate risk to customers. So uh, with that in mind, though, if, uh, it, you know, for those those that prefer to manually install the updates, you can find the individual bulletin packages uh, with the corresponding security bulletins. So, and uh, you can do that by just going to www.microsoft.com forward slash technet forward slash security forward slash current dot ASPX and search for the bulletin, uh, the specific bulletin or bulletin number that you're looking to install the package from. And the table at the top of each bulletin is the list of affected products and components, which are then hyperlinked to the appropriate download. So yep. if you're <coughs> looking for Windows 2000, you'll actually see in, in a grid view or in a, in a table, Windows 2000, you'll click the link, it'll take you to the packages and, and off you go. Okay. So any users actually having uh, trouble installing any of the security updates can uh, visit our uh, new consumer security support site. And you can get that at consumersecuritysupport.microsoft.com. It's a pretty long URL there. And, uh, or you can call our free phone-based support for security-based issues at 1-866-PC-SAFETY. Yep, and for a more detailed look at uh, each of this month's bulletins, please join Jerry and myself for a live webcast tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific <coughs> Daylight Time. We'll have a room full of subject matter experts on hand to answer all of your questions, uh, essentially the people that have been responsible for investigating the vulnerabilities and creating the uh, corresponding security updates. They'll all be here, Jerry and myself uh, as well. So to attend, please go to www.microsoft.com forward slash technet, forward slash security, forward slash current.aspx, where you'll find a link to register for the bulletin webcast. So we'll be taking your questions, and uh, we'll have a room full of people, uh, along with Jerry and myself, to be yep. able to do that. So that's our overview for uh, December. Thank you for viewing. And as always, keep an eye on our uh, MSRC blog at blogs.technet.com forward slash MSRC for the latest security information. <laughs>